Oh my gosh, dude. It just looks so freaking good, man. We have all of our little cutouts ready to go. Not perfect, definitely not perfect, but it's pretty darn good. My 12 volt plug here, right in the middle of here and in line with switch number two here. And then I'll put my battery meter here, my diesel heater at the top. The diesel heater one's gonna be kind of weird because the way they made it isn't a pretty setup. So this will get screwed into here and then I'm gonna have a little hole here where the wire comes out and I'm just gonna have to, I guess, caulk the hole. We're gonna paint this up downstairs, get the first coat of gray paint on, and then that means tomorrow we'll be able to get the second and third coat on and install and finish this thing up. Welcome back guys. Episode 60, the final episode of this bus build. This is Matt coming at you all from the future. I guess I just got into my work this week and I didn't film a little intro. So this week we had a huge week. As you guys can tell, I mean, <laughs> we had a pretty big week. This week we had to finish the curtains, put up the shower curtain, finish off the drawer, a lot of painting, and just kind of finish off the build stuff. And then we got the bedroom all situated and done. Let's get into it. All right. so. Gave that a little bit of time to dry up the third and final coat on here So I'm gonna go ahead and start getting everything put into the wall the diesel heater I got they have like the most trash design ever you can't unclip the wires from the display and The connector is super big So I had to bore out a bigger hole here So it's a little bit butchered and then there's gonna be a bunch of extra space because the wire isn't as thick as the connector. I'm gonna have to caulk around it and then paint over it again. So I'm gonna sand that little bit out and then we're just gonna put it on and I'll get to that later. Cool. There we go. There we have it. Control center right here in my bedroom. <laughs> Um, so that's all done. I'm gonna I'm gonna put my thing, my storage bin back in, put the outlet cover in. There we go, check her out. There we go, all done. So all we have left in the bedroom now is this wall, this strip that's already painted and the extra strip behind it, the strip to cover up the edge here on both of these walls and then the 90 degree angle, and the curtains. Now that I have the wall up and the trim up, uh, I can do a curtain rod from there to there. So that's my next step here. <laughs> There we have it. We have all of these up. Curtains are up. We have this one in the back to do and those over there. So I need some small curtain rods for back there and I need more cup hooks for over here. Well, I need cup, more cup hooks overall. Yeah, sweet. I'll see you probably tomorrow or the day after. It's a new day, it's Monday. We're gonna start the week off nice and strong. It was supposed to rain like all day today. And now the rain in the forecast is cleared up for today and tomorrow. A few things that I wanna do today. I wanna try and hang up my shower curtain here. To get my curtains back here hung up, these curtains hung up. One more thing before I get into the work for the day. I don't wanna pull these right now cause it's still kind of drying up, but I put Velcro on the bottoms of here. My dad got hinges and little poles for them. And then he caulked this, oh, that's still wet. <laughs> he caulked this seam here, and then he got, he cut out little pieces of trim to kind of fit in and around here and cover all that up. And he killed it, he did a great job. Let's get into today's work. Yeah, we're 
definitely gonna hem up the bottom and then I'm not sure I'll either put like magnet strips on here and here or maybe buttons so you snap them in place that way there's no like weird extra space to see through from the bed into the bathroom or anything like that and you can just kind of snap it in it'll act more like a door that way but Otherwise, I think we're good. Let's work on the blinds, or the curtains, I guess, in the back. One and two are done. See that? All the way, dude. Went all the way, made it. Heck yeah. All right, we did it. So we have all white here. We have black curtain shower, or shower cur curtain, shower, shower curtain. We have white there, 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 and then you move to the back. We have white right in the back, and then we have gray, gray, and gray on this side. I put the divider walls there and the pallet board in the back so it would kind of break it up and be like a separate room. So you kind of have like a bedroom and then you also have the rest of it. And I kind of like the gray curtains back there. It kind of separates everything and makes it a separate room. It's pretty sick. We have curtains up. All the curtains are done. I'll catch you later. Let's get back to work. All right, so before I do anything else today, we're gonna clean this up because this is disgusting. But I uh, I got something a little special. I got my title, my, my new title. The title that has the correct year, 2010. So we're ready to go to Vermont and get this thing titled as an RV. I'm gonna hold on to this. I'm not even gonna put it there. I'm putting this back inside, holding on to this like it's pure gold. This is everything. This is my ticket to get this thing on the road. So that's super exciting news. Uh, let's get into this, clean this up, get the bedroom looking fresh. You are a photograph face is too big. Alright, so my camera died, but check that out. We have our drawer in. So the trim for right here done, and the trim for the sides of these divider walls done. We have it fit in here. You guys remember when I was putting this cabinet in up here, I had to cut down this and I found out that the wall was a little bit like bent. The middle beam was a little bent. So we have like this kind of weird looking gap here straight up. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna use like a quarter round trim or something of the sort to kind of trim that out and cover in the gap and then I'll just match it over here so it doesn't look awkward. Uh, otherwise, I mean, the wall is pretty much ready to go. I just have to cut the water gauge holes and sand it out, give it a really good sand. In typical Pennsylvania fashion, the weather went from 85 and sunny to 65 and rainy overnight. And now the forecast for the rest of the 15 day extended forecast, we're not even hitting the 80s. So it went straight to fall real quick. I'm gonna get that wall, this wall here and get the first coat of uh, gray paint on there. Today's just gonna be kind of a paint day. And I think I have a surprise for you guys a little bit later this afternoon. All right. Oh, all right, 
right, so that's it. You guys probably already guessed it, but we have some new Before I Die clothes. I'm really excited for this new stuff. I cannot wait to show you what I got. <laughs> We're doing it again, man. We're doing it again. We have a hoodie, Live Fulfilled. This is embroidered, Live Fulfilled, period. Right on the front of it, nice and minimal. I love it. And then on the sleeve, Check that out. That is embroidered as well, the Before I Die. I have a white long sleeve shirt with Before I Die logo on the front. Flip it over, boom. We have a full color print of a brand new design. We have the old school Volkswagen bus with a fire right in front of the mountains with the logo. I love it, man. Look, I mean. Come on, dude. I am in love with these new two pieces. As you're watching this right now, those two new pieces are up on the website. It's the first link in the description, beforeidieofficial.com. Make sure you check them out. I love these two pieces. Like, they're, they're my favorite ones by far to date. Before I die official.com, first link in the description. Thank you guys. Make sure you check it out. It's a beautiful day today. Woo! It's kind of fall. Yeah, it's like 70 something degrees today. So, since it's such a beautiful day, we're out here to finish up the bedroom. Look at that, man. Perfect fit. There we have it. So we have fresh water gauge, gray water gauge for the shower, and then we have our um, hot water heater switch. I need something that's gonna cover up this seam, and then I might as well continue it there, and then I'll probably put the same thing over here. Once again, just to make sure everything looks uniform and looks good. Eh. It's not my favorite thing ever, but it's not too bad. So I have this one on. I'm gonna caulk the seam then as well. I have this little bit here to figure out what to do with, and then I have a piece on the underside. I'm gonna wrap today, and I'll catch you all tomorrow. It's the last day of the build. <laughs> it's the last day of the build. I, I don't even know how to feel. <laughs> There's gonna be some odds and ends, but this is the last day of the actual build itself. We've been at this for a year and three months, just over a year and three months, almost a year and four months, I guess. <sighs> to kind of finish things off, we gotta cut a strip for here, we gotta cut a strip for here. Make the bed. <laughs> That's really all we have. I'm not gonna put the strips on there and there until I'm 100% sure that we're all good to go and nothing needs to be changed out or replaced. The walls don't need to come off, none of that. These feel great. Oh, dude, this is what makes me so excited. <laughs> Woo! There we go. I'm gonna grab the throw pillows, but that gray looks pretty good. I have pillow and pillow kind of matches that pattern there. And then the red, obviously the rug, and some of that like blues and tans are in the rug and whatnot, so it kind of ties that rug into the rest of the space. Um, I'm not crazy about that same pillow on the bed there, but I kind of think I like this cinnamon colored fluff pillow better on the bed. 
I think it ties the pallet wall in a little bit more. It all came together. It all came together after a year and four long months. It finally came together and I have a house. I have a house. I'm 23. I was kind of thinking about it the other day. and When I was in high school, I never would have thought that I would build my own home, let alone build my own home inside of a school bus. Ow. This is crazy, man. <laughs> wow. A school bus. That's gonna be a wrap for episode number one of this bus conversion. I got the ceiling off, I got the walls off, I got the back walls off. I'm not a builder. I have no construction experience. I never had the desire to build anything or even try to build anything. And this is disgusting. I hate this so much. Because there's just so much. It's like all up in the insulation. Finish this up. This whole thing, the enclosure's built. This is the first thing I've ever built, like ever, in my life. <laughs> Dude, this was hell. But it came together and... Look at all the snow we got. There's so much snow. Alright, look at that. It looks really good. I built this, man. Oh my god. We don't see it yet. But we know we need. We don't see it yet. So, with only a few odds and ends left to do, I guess that means the only thing left is to move in. I'll catch you guys next week. Peace.